What's up, everybody? Good evening. So, my question here is, what's up with gas prices? I just did this video, but uh, I ran out of space on my storage, and so I decided to redo it quicker. Streamline this baby, because <laughs> I don't have a lot to contribute to this. My question is, why are gas prices at $2 per gallon? You know, I just went to the pump today and I paid $1.38 per gallon for gas. This is with my 70 cents off for, uh, uh, I think it was 70 cents off a gallon for the Fred Meyer Rewards card that I have, you know, because I buy stuff there and get points. But even there, even then, even with that discount, just looking at the $1.28, I just couldn't believe it. It was just a few years back we are paying over $4 a gallon, and some places up to 5 and I started to wonder, what's going on? Now, five years ago, I would have been in my conspiracy mode, and I probably would have assumed that something bad was coming, only because the oil barons and those who rule the economy don't just let the price drop for no apparent reason. However, I have to remain open-minded that perhaps the market does dictate these things. Perhaps supply and demand, which is the explanation given for why gas is so cheap, maybe this is true. Now, the two explanations that I was given upon a little bit of research was, uh, A, the supply has increased during the time when we were in a tough bind financially, economically, and uh, with our fuel reserves, we went and we started drilling in Nebraska, and we acquired a lot of shale oil up there as well as up in Canada. They believe that this, combined with the demand side of it, which is that in Europe there are a lot less people uh, driving, I guess because their economics are still weak and their recession is still strong. So even if these two are combined, you know, a couple more reserves being drilled here in America combined with a few less people driving, just to me, just doesn't seem to warrant an entire cut in half in fuel prices. However, uh, one could lead to think that since the Middle East was stabilized more, maybe this would be part of the reason. I don't believe that either because uh, we had those oils, we had those oil wells under wraps right away when the Iraq War started. This was a long time ago, so whatever's going on seems to be a little bit deeper. And I'm not a conspiracy fanatic, but I do believe that. Uh, the things that go on behind closed doors, the decisions that people make without us, the things that go on at places like, you know, Bohemian Grove and Bilderberg meetings, <coughs> these things, um, it, it leads you to wonder what's really going on, you know, and, and it's not always so horrible as people think. It's not always out to kill people or, you know, to you know, tread over liberties, sometimes it's, you know, it's usually just about personal gain rather than keeping, uh, I, I guess, I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff, but uh, these people are just warped, you know, mentally, and, and these are people that control our economy, you know, and run these decisions, which is what leads me to think that maybe it has something to do with it, maybe there's something else to it, and I don't know, and I can't know, and I'll never know, but... All I know is right now gas is damn cheap and it makes me wonder why. So, yeah, maybe it's the supply and demand, maybe it's something bigger, but uh, I, I guess I am glad that it's cheap. On a side note, I watched Colbert the other day and they had uh, some people, uh, this little comedy sketch where they were showing people who were actually going out and buying more SUVs. SUV sales are up extremely here in the U.S. because the gas prices. So yes, people are getting themselves into a car that they're going to be in for 10 years in hopes the gas prices will remain the same for 10 years. <laughs> it's a foolish notion. And, you know, living among fools, it's just... One of the explanations also for the prices, uh, gas dropping, is, you know, people using more uh, economic energy or more natural, you know, forms of energy, which is bullshit to me because... Uh, even if you're using electric cars and all this, wouldn't that run gas prices up just merely because <laughs> they aren't selling as much? You know, it's, it's one of those things. I don't know. 
the market is a very tough thing and difficult to understand. So I'll just leave it at that and uh, say that at least it is cheap, and I'm glad that I can go fill my car up for so cheap now instead of spending 80 bucks <laughs> for a while. But uh, I'm not going to use more gas because of it, and that's all I'm saying. I wanted to say that, you know, people who go out and abuse the idea that we have more resources, this is the very problem that we have. I think, well, gas is cheap, so I'm going to go on a road trip. That's great. Go ahead, you know. People have to enjoy themselves, but just realize that, you know, if we can continue to dwindle our resources, we're going to continue to have the same problems down the road. It's going to get worse and worse. So try to wean yourself off of gas as much as you can. I went down and I filled up my car along with four big gas cans, so <laughs> I wanted to get as much as I could with my 70 cent discount, you know. So, anyway, those are my words for the night. Peace and love, everybody. Take care.